All right, people, welcome back. More card review. So this card is Card of Demise. You might have seen Mega Capital G do a video about it with you, Senju, and it is actually coming out on TCG. I apologize for the card art. Like it was revealed in this Millennium Duels pack that uh that is gonna be in there, and for the card art, it was they kind of like stacked all the cards on top of each other, so you kind of see that Winged Dragon of Raw Phoenix on top of Card of Demise. So you, you really can't read all of its effect uh, in the in the picture but uh you know you just go ahead and pull up the description and read the effect or you can just sit here and listen to me while i read it off to you so card demise is a normal spell card that reads draw until you have three cards in your hand also for the rest of this turn after this card's resolution your opponent takes no damage during the end phase send your entire hand to the graveyard you can only activate one card of demise per turn you cannot special summon monsters to turn you activate this card uh so if you actually think about it carefully you kind of get why uh, you send you in the OCG uh, played it, all right? So pretty much, you know, you send you, you go ahead and summon all your monsters, you set out your back row, and then, uh, of course, uh, it says also for the rest of this turn after this card resolution, your opponent takes no damage. So go to battle phase, get all your damage in, main phase two, play this, draw three cards, you know, draw until you have three cards into your hand, or, you know, just, it doesn't have to be three cards. If you have zero, well, you know, you play this and you draw three cards, but, you know, uh, and then, of course, uh, you cannot special summon uh, during the turn after this card. Really wasn't planning to special summon anyone. I'm playing you Sunjus, all right. Uh, and then similar to what Cleese did with uh, in was it Into the Void? Yeah, yeah, with Into the Void. You know how they would be like, oh well, you know, I'm gonna Pendulum summon all my monsters and I'm gonna tribute summon my uh, towers and I'm gonna play all these Into the Voids. I'll go and in resolve Into the Void. I have no hand. Uh, <laughs> Moral talk, draw. The, uh, pretty much, uh, she, your senjus do it in a similar manner, opposite manner. So, they would go, alright, well, uh, card of demise, I'll resolve that during my end phase, discard my entire hand. I have nothing. Card of, uh, then my senju monsters come back to my hand. So, uh, depending on how many cards you set, including your senju monsters, you can easily go plus two with this card. And, you know, that's, that's pretty powerful, right? Right? Uh, of course, the only problem that you would run into is if the off the three cards that you're drawing up well up to the three cards that you're drawing with uh card of demise you draw into any monsters because of course you, you go ahead and summon all your sentry monsters set all your uh uh back row conduct your bad phase main phase two play card of demise you're using one card of demise to draw three cards that's, that's a plus two uh you know the out of the three cards you draw back row you could probably just set more back row i mean come on it's your senjis more back row set more back row but the monsters they're going to get pitched during the end phase so that, that's a problem you can definitely run to but still the risk is risk the reward just to go ahead and go plus two i must say so being able to exploit the system kind of like how cleese did into the void i can understand that and with a, a combination of being able to play uh lose one turn and of course since uh uh, your synergies that go back to your hand, which means that you don't have any monsters on your field. You generally get hit di for direct attacks. Playing that uh, upcoming Rippling Mirror Force, I can definitely see how your synergies are putting a little bit work in the, over in the OCG. And maybe they'll potentially do something over here. Because there, there is no argument uh, that uh, the power of, uh, of lose one turn in, you know, Rippling Mirror Force. You know, that, that can easily fuck up some Klees or, or even some Monarchs, really. I mean, they go into the extra deck, but not too much, so, you know. I said their biggest problem would definitely be March, because summoning that big old beater, and then, you know, they can't be targeted straight by card effect, will kind of hurt you send you, because they they like to go ahead and have uh, one of the commons, think common one or two, they bounce your monster back to your hand and hit you directly, so that could be a problem if they can't target it because of March, but, you know, you try to get them with uh, direct attack, well, Ripple and Mirror Force, put that monarch back in your deck. Go ahead, go ahead. So, all right, all right. Uh, another deck that actually can possibly use this really well, uh, get their helmet on, is Teller Knights. Yes, Teller Knights. That first turn Teller Knight play uh, could be very beneficial with this because, as you know, Teller Knights, super get your helmet on. Uh, we even see it uh, kind of a pseudo play to this uh, when they're playing uh, that Bujin Tsukiyomi, you know, where they'll go ahead and, you know, make a... a uh, rank 4 C, which, you know, depending on what, uh, back row they're playing in their deck, it seems like pulling off, uh, a Rafisha would be a better first turn play, but, you know, sometimes, uh, we see that first turn, uh, Tsukiyomi set the back row, have one card in their hand, play Tsukiyomi, pitch that one card, and draw two cards. So, you pretty much have a similar play, uh, whether that be just go ahead and, you know, summon the nab, get your search, set all your back row, you know, I barely have any cards in my hand, play, or don't even search at all, just summon the nab, and set your back row, your revival, whatever. Play card demise. 
All right, well, I, I'm going first. I wasn't planning on inflicting damage to you anyway. Uh, you cannot special summon the turn you activate this card. Uh, so, like I said, it depends on what you played, but you know what? No, that's wrong. Because they go and go Vega and then summon the Neb to... No, no, never mind. I was thinking of making a key, but never mind. You're not making a key in this situation. I was like, wait, 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 wait. I'm like, no, no, I got it. Just, so just summon the Neb. Uh, you can search. You cannot search. It's up to you. Set all your back row. Carter Demise. You know, I don't plan on inflicting damage to you uh, during my first turn, and I'm not spent for something. I just summoned the Neb. That's it. Put Carter Demise. Drop three cards. Set all more of the back row that you drew out of them three cards, and then, of course, the monsters get pitched, but with uh, Teller Knights and a high revival, that doesn't matter anyway, so it uh, gets you a little bit deeper into your deck, so uh, similar to how the, the de uh, deck takes it slow, you know, even summoning a Nukla High and sending the Neb, then playing card demise as well, uh, this is how the, the deck takes it slow before it gets the ball rolling uh, can assist because you get to go three cards deeper into your deck that, that can mean more backer that can mean uh, uh you know a nova so uh i could i could possibly see that it's just it might be more of a dead draw in the later duel you know it, it, it kind of has that that pot of duality syndrome where it's like how many pot of dualities do you run and when is a great time to play it when's not a good time to play because you know if you're playing on your special summoning all of that and you draw into a pot of duality i mean it's kind of a dead draw but you know if you're not playing on special summoning uh, and of course it does say uh, for the rest of the turn out this card resolve your opponent takes on damage so all you have to do is just play this in main phase two after you got all your damage in you know as long as there's uh the cards in your hand you don't mind pitching you used to go three cards deep in so set all your back row play card of demise draw th up to three set all the remaining back rows through the monsters because you know it's all about that back row getting three cards deep into your deck so not bad not bad so i don't know uh, we might see a couple of tonight players play it we might see uh you send you the players play it but uh, it's not an ass card. I, I think I saw a DP Wadra reviewing this card, and he was like, oh, this card is garbage. Like, no, it's not garbage. It's just really situational. Uh, they, I mean, you're drawing three freaking cards, so they definitely wanted to make sure uh, that they did it uh, in a balanced manner. That, uh, you know, for the rest of the turn, your opponent takes no damage. So you can't just be like, all right, card them all. Uh, you know, I'm going to draw three cards, you know, draw up to three cards into my hand. And... You know, I'm gonna wreck you with these cards that I drew. Like, no, no, no. You, you, your opponent takes no damage. So, either you, <laughs> either you play in main phase one and don't do any damage, or you play in main phase two after you've done the, uh, the damage you had with your resources, and then just make sure. You know, uh, it's, it kind of reminds me of, uh, oh my god, it's a banned card, spell card, Mirage, Mirage, Mirage of Nightmares, wasn't it? Where it's like during your opponent's standby phase, you draw four cards, and then do your standby phase. I think you like discard your hand or something like that. Kind of reminds me of that, like a a more balanced version of that. Where it's like, hey, you know, you draw up the three cards now, but during the end phase, you gotta pitch your hand. So uh, during it seems like you know during that main phase too, you get a little bit more, but at what cost? So like I said, it's not it's not a bad it's not a bad card. It's not a bad card like DPY Joe was saying. It's just really situational and has to be pulled off properly for the best benefit. So, uh, anyway, tell me what you guys think about Carter Demise. Like I said, it is current firm for TCG. You see the English version. Like I said, it's in, uh, Millennium something. Millennium... I guess it's just Millennium Pack. Yeah, Millennium Pack. Uh, along with, uh, Wing Dragon Run Phoenix Mode. And hopefully, uh, them, uh, them holding arms and legs as well. And just, uh, you know, a lot of, of the other merit cards that we haven't got, uh, for the TCG that OCG has gotten. So, like I said, tell me what you guys think of Card Demise, and I will be back on Wednesday with another card to look at. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.